Hello, it is I, Toxic Kitten. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the manual. Oh my God, hello. The manual um, sub menus and menus um, today. So I have my model, uh, the adaptation of the Vivi. Um, this is not for sale. Um, this is my own model. Um, I made her with the Vivi. Um, all none of the clothes are from scratch. Uh, they are all uh, already made clothing. Um, mwah. So um, we are gonna start by working on my Vivi girl. Um, so I'm gonna start by duplicating my model by pressing Control D on my keyboard. Um, with that, your avatar is gonna duplicate. You're also gonna wanna duplicate your, um, your expressions by pressing on your expression menu and pressing Control D. Um, you don't have to duplicate your parameters, but I did. If you're going to really rework everything and start deleting things that you don't need on your parameters, um, then I would recommend doing the same if you're really reworking your whole model. Um, so we're going to start by teaching you how to start organizing. So I'm going to grab my, oh my goodness, I'm going to grab my, um, my drawing tablet here. Um, so this is how I recommend reworking. So I'm going to go ahead, actually move. Yeah. So you're going to go ahead and go down to your parameters and you're going to write down all of your parameters. You might have little or more than me. So oh my gosh, uh, Ram. And you're going to write down all of your params right here. Um, so I'm going to label one as like, I don't know, like Jean. You don't have to do it on this drawing tablet. Um, I don't recommend it because, like, oh my god. But just like a slip of paper, a sheet of paper. Um, so my jeans. We're going to scrap all of the submenus and we're going to go ahead and make our own. So I'm going to leave that to the side for a second. So my hoodie. I'm going to, so say I remove all my toggles. I have all my parameters down so I know exactly what I need to toggle. Your parameters are for toggles. So how to relate your animator to here to your toggles. Um, so on your animator here, um, if you don't have an animator, go ahead and press hoodie and then um, double click this right here. Um, it'll pop up your animator. Um, so these are your parameters here. Your parameters relate to this. And then if you have the same parameter, it relates to over here. And then once you have that parameter, it'll relate to here. So toggle, lightsaber sound. You don't need to worry about parameters with this. It's just a little bit of education. Um, for anybody that wants to know um, Yeah, but you don't have to worry about your parameters uh, just making a big a whole list of them would be great Just because that's how many toggles are, are needed um, if you want to remove a parameter you can go to hoodie Parameters Go to one of the go to go to the bottom or press on one and press minus same with here press minus um, Then do the same thing here find the same one press one of these and press delete and then go back to the corresponding um, animation and then just press delete. So delete and then I'll come back. I'll press control, I'll press control Z to make it come back. But that's how you totally get rid of a toggle. If you don't want a toggle, delete both parameters and the animation inside and the uh, menu, which is in here somewhere. Um, but that's how you remove a toggle completely. Um, and that's how you also you know, a little bit of parameter um, education. So I'm gonna come back to this. So say I have jeans and my terminology for like avatars is like tops, bottoms, accessories, lewd. So say I want jeans to go to bottoms. I'm gonna go ahead and write a, a line here. Say this is like a top and I wanna put a top to here. Um, if this gets a little bit messy for you, which is fine, um, just kind of like cross them off as you go. Um, so like jeans, bottom. So let's go through all the bottoms. So this is a bottom. This is a bottom. Jeans. <laughs> Apologies. Um, so go through like the tops, the bottoms, and then the accessories. Oh, this is an accessory. Let's cross that off. So we're going to start by making like a test. Um, so say this is like bottoms and you're starting with bottoms and you're putting your bottoms into here. 
So let's go VRC expression menu, and I'm gonna go ahead and press plus. I already did here. Uh, so I'm gonna make it test right here. Toggle parameter is not needed, but toggle needs to be sub menu. So we are in the big menu, and now we are in a little menu, which is right here. We are still in the big menu, but these are all my sub menus. And I'm gonna go ahead, I have test sub, but for you, you would go ahead and right click create VR chat avatars menu and then create it and I have test sub right here so I'm gonna go ahead and press this little circle right here I'm gonna do that again because it was really fast but right here I'm gonna write test sub I know it's right here but for anybody that just does not know where their their um, menu went um, I seriously recommend remembering or making a folder by right clicking and um, pressing create and where is it folder and naming them like, I don't know, Rex menus, uh, Nova Beast new menus, um, and reworking those. If you don't know how or how to identify a toggle of what it needs, just go ahead, lightsaber sound, it's a toggle and it has a boolean, minute newt, it's a radial with a float. If you wanna go ahead and write that down or just press print screenshot on your keyboard um, and take a screenshot of it um, that would probably be the best thing for you and just collect all those screenshots um, and put them in order from like accessories lewd uh, tops bottoms whatever props whatever you need um, and just copying those from one place to the next so I'm gonna go ahead and go back and I'm gonna go to my test and I'm gonna double click test sub now we're in another menu, and now I'm gonna make a toggle within this menu. If you want another sub menu within this sub menu, just make another sub menu. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over that. Um, but I'm gonna press new control, and I'm gonna do jeans, like I said. Um, and I know my jeans um, is the parameter um, A3 toggle. You're not gonna. You might have A3. I used A3 to generate my toggles because uh, I use simple toggles. Oh hello, come on. Um, oh my goodness, how many times am I gonna do this today? Oh oh, here we go. <laughs> Okay, there, jeans. And there you go, now you have a toggle. Um, say you can have up to eight, so say I have up to eight here and I'm out of room, uh, I would save the eighth slot for your sub menu. So I'm gonna press new control and I don't know, next. And just go ahead and make another sub menu by pressing create, create sub menu. And then there you go. And that's how you do it. Um, so I've taught you how to delete toggles. I've taught you how to find out what parameter goes to each toggle, how to identify a toggle. Um, oh, hold on, there you go, sub menu. <laughs> I found out, I've, I've taught you how to rework your sub menus and how to organize them the best way that you can. Um, and yeah, so that's literally it. Um, please don't use the VRC Fury way. It's really not great for uh, visual. You have to press like gesture the whole time um the the play the whole time you, you don't want to do that um it's just a lot easier to have all of your stuff here um if your asset is vrc fury i'm gonna go ahead and go through with that with you um so my zawu which i'm not going to turn on because it is a nsfw asset um spine um actually i'll just do money spread um, so money spread here, I've actually done it already, I'm pretty sure. Um, no, I have not. I can go ahead and do that. Um, oh, it's right here, but okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say I want my money spread in my bottoms menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and press edit in prefab. This is why I said, so it would be clothes slash bottoms slash money spread so it's the menu that it starts out with so clothes so the first sub menu that it, that, it, that it does so clothes slash body well not body slash bottoms slash money spread so, mm -hmm. clothes bottoms money spread there you go so I'm gonna go ahead and take it Put that back because uh, I do not want it in my bottoms. Edit and prefab. Just remove that and it'll go. 
Um, I'm gonna teach y'all how to rework two things. So I actually don't have my foxhole bracelet on here. If you don't know what foxhole is, it's a VRC fear. It's a VRC fury. Oh my god, it's VR chat uh, furry club. So I don't want to edit in prefab. I want to make a I don't know lewd prop folder, and I want to make this foxhole bracelet there. That's it. Then do this, save. And now I'm gonna make my Zawu right here, prefix rocket, but it's gonna go lewd prop slash rocket. Cool, I'm gonna go ahead and press play. And now I should have a lewd prop menu. Scene, gesture manager. Next, lewd prop, rocket, voxel bracelet, rocket. There it all is. So that's how you rework. Um, that's how you rework um, VRC Fury assets. Um, it's pretty easy. It's just not visual. I don't really recommend it. Um, but that is indeed how you do it. Um, so I've gone over manual toggles and what they are. I haven't gone over how to make them, but if somebody wants to request that video, I definitely will do it. Um, it's Then I've gone over reworking menus, reworking VRC Fury menus, and all that fun stuff. So I hope this video helped. I hope your avatars become more organized. Um, and yeah, have a good day, y'all. See ya.